All right, guys, what's going on? This is uh, this is Jaybird, and uh, today you're going to be getting my uh, my first episode into this how how to series, and uh, get into it. Uh, I was thinking about what to do with my first episode, things like that, and then I know I asked for people's demos uh, to send in to me, which I still want, but I realized the best way to probably do this would be make make my first episode just a super basic uh, how to episode on just general things like. Uh, HUDs and configs, and uh, also just how to send me demos, because uh, I know some people may not be fully aware how to do that, or even know how to record their own footage. So I figured I'd go over that first in my first video, uh, that would make a lot of sense. So I'll start with how to send me demos. So if you are interested in sending me demos, and let me clarify, I don't need competitive clips. Uh, I know a lot of people who watch my videos don't necessarily play competitive, just want to get better in general, even at pubs, and I totally respect that. Uh, it's always great to improve your game, and it's definitely possible even in pubs. So uh, you don't have you can send me pub footage. That's that's totally fine. Uh, just kind of specify what it is you want me to look at, or uh, the ticks or something where you want me to send it in PRAC, and I'll go through that. I, I don't care. Pub footage is always interesting to to, to watch, uh, but I do also accept competitive footage. Six is Highlander. I don't. You can send me fours. I won't be able to tell you much about. Game, like what's going on in fours? I have no idea anything about it, but I can I can help you on your individual movement or aim or something with that. But uh, yeah, okay, so getting into it. So the only thing you're going to need to send me footage, and I'm sure most of you know about this already and already use things something like PREC. But all you're going to need, you don't need recording software or anything like that. You just need PREC downloaded um, to record footage in TF2. Um, the way to do that is I, I don't need to show you. You just you well okay. I'll just you go. In a Google, and you you type in PREC TRF TF2. Um, first thing that comes up is a link to the ETF2L site, and you're gonna see download the latest version of PREC right here. You click that, and it'll automatically download it. Um, really simple to do. Once it's downloaded, um, it already tells you right here. You go to your custom file directory, um, and you extract the contents of what you've downloaded and put it in there. Um, it's a really simple process, um, so I'll even show you. So you go into my computer, local disk, program files, down to Steam, down to Steam apps, common, Team Fortress 2, TF, and now here's where the bulk of all of the things that I guess more or less I'm going to go over in this video are going to be found. Um, so for what I just told you, if you're looking for things like PREC, um, you'll take it, you'll take the contents of it, you'll click on custom, and you can just throw it right in here. So PREX right here. It's got add-ons and sound of the two folders. And that's it. It works with TF2 now. All you have to do is uh, go into your config. And uh, you're either going to want it PREC underscore mode 1, 2, or 3 are your options. Um, one, I believe, only starts recording footage in tournaments uh, when you're in tournament mode, so just official matches. Two, I don't know what two is. And three is record all footage. So that's if you want to get things in pubs, something like that or you can just start recording a demo when you're in a match if you're interested in something like that. Um, so, talking about configs, I guess, easily a little bit of a segue there. So once you've got PREC, oh, that's right, you do need to send me the demo. So once PREC is recorded, uh, it's it's a very simple thing, it'll just record in your game automatically. If you've got it set to PREC, under, PREC mode 3, uh, it'll start recording as soon as you start your game, even if it's a pub, and it will stop recording as soon as you finish your game, so as soon as you disconnect from the server. Um, and if it's just like if you're not looking for like kill streaks or things like that, and you just want full game footage, then that's raw. That's easy to do. It'll automatically show up in. You know, go to so right here. These are all my all my clips, things like that. And I have a folder which comes with it called kill streaks, automatically in there. And you can set a bind in your config folder uh, that you click every single time that you do something interesting in a pub or a game, anything like that. It sets the tick and uh, the file name and everything like that. And it's uh, it lets you know exactly when during that demo you did what you did, and you can go back and review things like that. So to send me any kind of demo you're looking for, they're all right here. Everything that you've done. So I guess it would be your latest one, wherever you want it to be. Uh, you don't have to rename it or anything like that. If it's from you and you give me a brief description of what it is you want, uh, that's simple enough. And um, so if you if you want to send me that demo, all you're gonna do is the site I use to upload things is uh, I use Zippy Share. Pretty easy. Uh, I, th I don't. Know, I think it's got like a 100 meg limit, um, but oh, 200 megabytes. Sent, frankly, your demos shouldn't be any longer than that. That would be like, I think that would be like three or four hours of gameplay for the demo to go longer than that. So all you have to do is uh, browse, find that demo inside your uh, 
inside I'm not going to go through all that again. Just go to that demo, upload it here. Once you've got the link, just email it to me in the last video I showed. Uh, or you, if you're a friend of mine on Steam, you can just message me, anything like that. And uh, I'll have your demo. I can play it in my own, uh, in my own PREC whatever in, uh, on my TF2. And I can watch it and record from there and uh, get everything I need. So, really simple. Um, a lot of people ask me my config, things like that. Um, and it's really easy to get to. That's not the right thing. Um, so if you want to get to your config and uh, you want to adjust some things in there, really simple. You go back to everything here. So Steam Max, Common, Team Fortress 2, get into TF. And uh, the folder you're going to be looking at here is config. That's pretty simple. Everything in here now, you've got all your class-specific configs and your general auto-exec. So the auto-exec right here, that is a folder I believe you have to, I don't know, I've had it for so long now. I think you have to create an auto-exec folder, um, which is simple. You just name it auto-exec, and that lets the game know that every time you start it, it will load all the things inside of this folder. So I'm going to click on mine here. Here you can see all the things that I have in my auto-exec folder. Uh, really simple stuff. It sets my FOV to 90, which I don't use to view models, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, sorry, FOV is my field of view. So you want it set on 90 at all times, gives you the max... Um, field of view that you can see to your right and left, so it lets you see as much of the screen as possible at all times. Great for awareness, obvious, that's basic things. A lot of these things I assume most of you will understand, but just in case. Um, some of the more basic ones, so FOV underscore view model 100. If I am using view models, I like it set to a little farther out, makes it a little smaller on my screen, but like I said, I don't use view models very often, or really ever. Uh, I got PREC mode underscore set to 3 there, so automatic. Now here's this one, if you're using PREC, and uh, you don't want every three or four kill streak in a pub to automatically create a kill streak. Set your PREC to PREC underscore man underscore streak to something ridiculous like 100. Um, that way, it will only automatically create a kill streak um, file or tick in your kill streak folder if you um, if you do something ridiculous like this. So this way, it's basically you'll only have a kill streak folder or little thing created if you create if you hit your kill streak bind. Uh, my kill streak bind, I believe, is at the bottom here. I'll get back up to the top. No, it isn't. I don't know where it is. Uh, apparently, it doesn't exist. But uh, I've got mine set to Z or Z. Sorry, I'm Canadian. Uh, so every time I click Z, it sets a kill streak for whatever demo I'm recording, and I can go back in because I do a lot of pub footage. I need that. Like I can't go back and watch a two-hour pub session uh, and keep my sanity and try to pick out all the things I liked, especially because I only do one or two things per pub that I think is like, whoa, like that's worth. Uh, recording pub footage for. Um, so I've got uh, just some basic things in here. The rest of this, all of this here, this isn't stuff that I'm like, I made up on my own. Every single thing here from all of this up until right, right, where the, what, right, what, here, right, mm, right here is Chris's max frames. So that if you're looking, if you're wondering why my graphics look so terrible and blocky, uh, or if you like them, um, this config basically executes the minimum graphic thing that I use. I use Chris's Max Frames, it gets you the most frames you possibly can, does things like disable ragdolls when you kill people, um, removes the eyes from characters, so they look like soulless husks every time you see a kill cam and it zooms in on their face. Um, a bunch of stuff like that, and uh, it. I don't, I'm just used to it. My computer would have no issues running on regular or high graphics, but I'm just used to it, and I, and I like the idea of getting the most frames that I can get out of TF2. So this is what I use. I would recommend you giving it a try if you haven't yet. Um, it just simplifies the graphics a little bit more, and it, it can, uh, if you are having FPS issues, definitely use it. But even if you aren't, sometimes it can just make things a little bit easier to see, uh, or maybe you just prefer the like, uh, like of this. But it's pretty subjective. If your computer can run TF2 on the graphics you like, go for it. This is not, you don't need to run Chris's Mac frames to be good at TF2. So that's general, that's what's in my auto exec. Um, so that's just the things that load up at the beginning of every time I start TF2. Pretty general stuff. Um, nothing in there game breaking or game changing really. You don't need any of that to play the game. Um, I wouldn't recommend um, like seeking those things out and expecting it to change your game because it, it really won't. Um, you might have some preferences, things like that in there that uh, you know, will aesthetically help you when you're playing TF2, but other than that, there's nothing in there that's going to change hitboxes or uh, or really affect how you play TF2. Uh, the rest of the things in here, you got things like, these are your class-specific ones, so as you can see, I don't have much going on in here. The one thing I would recommend putting on, I have it set to every single class except for Soldier and Demo Man, uh, is this little 
quick uh, quick input here. So bind space blah blah. Oh, okay. So I'm an idiot. I have a CrowdStone script on every single class, which is this one right here. Um, you can look at that copy paste if you have to. What that does is just it makes your character whenever you jump, whatever button you use to jump, it will automatically crouch jump. Um, basically, use that. There's no absolutely no reason not to use it. TF2 is <laughs> it's so weird in their hitboxes. If you're not using a crouch jump script, you're just giving characters like snipers an easier time headshotting you, uh, especially when you're jumping. But when you're crouch jumping, the hitboxes just go crazy, and it's it's just a disaster. Um, so use this. It just makes things difficult for other snipers. Uh, and it obviously it helps you get up onto certain places where crouch jumping is necessary. Uh, the only classes I don't have this crouch jump bind in are I don't have it set for demo man. So you see I've got bind space that just sets my jump back to a basic jump. So I actually have to press control and jump at the same time when I want to crouch jump. So I have it for that and for soldier simply because when I'm sticky jumping or rocket jumping I don't always want to do a crouch jump or my maximum other than C tapping. I don't want to do my maximum jump distance. Um, so I have it set so I can do a smaller rocket jump or a smaller sticky jump, things like that. Um, I don't know what people's preferences are on that. Uh, I don't, I'm sure there are lots of people who use crush jump scripts for soldier and demo, probably most people. Uh, I just could never get used to it, um, and I didn't want to set a separate button for a regular jump. So that's how, uh, those are my class configs. Go in there, do what you have to do. You can look up a bunch of different commands, things online, stuff like that. If you want to see my sniper one, it's right here. The only thing different in here is I have my zoom sensitivity ratio set. Uh, the default is 1. I have it to 0.83. I, I don't know why. I don't. When I did it, I haven't noticed a, any changes really. I just kind of, I, I like the idea of my scope being a little bit lower than my um, what my sensitivity is. So uh, whatever my interest per 360 is, you have to factor in the 0.83 zoom sensitivity ratio as well, and it lowers it a little bit. Whatever. My sensitivity is already pretty low anyway. But again, all subjective. You, you figure out what you like, what you're comfortable with. This shouldn't change. You should not be like, oh, like 0.83 and 1.35. That's 1,000 DPI. That's that's optimal for sniper. Not at all. Um, that is this is personal preference. The one thing you might notice is I have my CL underscore interp ratio set to 0 0.03. From everything I did research on, that's the consensus for hit scan classes. That I don't know. I, I don't know how it works. I, I don't know things. But uh, that's the consensus for hit scan classes. To I don't know with lag compensation or whatever net settings. That's the best setting to have it to. So I, I don't, I couldn't, I don't think I could probably tell if it, if it was set to anything different or at least zero. But that's what hit scan classes are set to. And for uh, classes like soldier, it's set to 0 0.0152. Again, just the general consensus. This is just based off of tons of tons of research and going online. And this is back in the day when I would just, I just racked my brain over every little detail on how to be better at TF2. And I thought, oh, I need the I need the best config. I need the I need the perfect sensitivity. I need to get the consensus of all the best players, what they use, things like that. Um, and that's when I figured these things out. But in the end, like these folders used to be full of things um, that other people used, other people recommended. And I found I slowly just whittled it down. And like, look how small this is now. Uh, there's nothing in here, and it's just all personal preference, really. None of it made me better. I realized that when I was getting frustrated with my game or something like that. It's not because my net settings are wrong. It's not because my graphics are too high or I'm dropping frames. It was just because I'm either having an off day or I'm just not playing enough. And you know what? If you want to see results in your own game, you just have to play more. There are I'm going to do this how-to series because I think there are general things and some things that people might just want to know about, um, and it could just speed up the process for people a little bit more. But at the end of the day, it's just I mean the old adage: practice makes perfect. It it works. I mean, you just have to play this game. I have 4,500 hours in TF2, and I run into somebody in a pub on a daily basis who is better than me. So, I mean, it it just happens. Like, just the more you play, the better you'll get. And the important thing is just enjoy it. You got to enjoy what you're doing. You got to enjoy the game. Um, and you got to, you know, mix up classes, do what you got to do, take a break. Don't force it down your throat. Don't just cram TF2 in until you hate the game and you've got to go online and try and find the best config, stuff like that. That's when you need to take a break, step back, and either just play the game for more enjoyment or take a break. Because frankly, it's you're not going to get better at the game just, just going doing the same things over and over and over again until you hate it.
Um, diversity is the key, and just enjoying the game, you'll, you will be better at it, you'll be more relaxed, and you'll be more open to just diverse playstyles and learning the game. Um, so that being said, I'll just quickly open up TF2 here. Um, that was all my configs, things like that. I'm trying to think of what I went over. PREC, go ahead, send me your demos, whatever you like, um, to bring up the demo. So if you want to review your own demos once you have PREC, it's you open up your config, conf oh my God, config with the little squiggly line. Um, demo UI opens it up. You click load, and right here. So you can just scroll through, and these are all the demos you've got. So you go into your kill streak folder, see which ones you. Uh, uh, see what your kill streaks, see what uh, demos you want to review, and you just click them, and that'll bring it up. I'm not going to go over that right now. Uh, you can see in your config right here. So when you start TF2, your console will tell you that. Uh, so I've got it. Record demos from all servers. So that's when my PRIC mode underscore three comes to. Chris's max frames loaded. That means my auto exec worked. And uh, from there, that's about it. I can't think of much else to go through. If you want to do things like custom HUDs, which I know a lot of people. A lot of people use another thing that is totally personal for me. Actually, I've been using Ray's HUD for it's. I've used it for the longest I've ever used a HUD before, and he continues to update it. And it's just a solid, clean HUD. Um, I would recommend it. Um, really easy to do. You do the whole thing: program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Team Fortress 2, TF, and custom. And when you go into custom, you have to create a folder called Custom HUDs very simple. You literally just make a folder called Custom HUD, and you download whatever HUD it is you'd like to use. Just go into Google, type in TF2 HUDs, uh, Raise HUD if you want to give one that I'm using a try, and you just download it, toss it into this new folder you've got, the whatever you you know extracted. Resource, scripts, and sound, those are what's going to be in there. Maybe it's just resources and scripts, I think, actually. Sounds just like the default what's in there already. So yeah, you just toss them right into Custom HUD, and that should automatically load. Um, just a word of caution when you're using custom HUDs, larger updates or even smaller updates sometimes have the tendency to break them until the, uh, the HUD maker updates it. So if you're having issues with a custom HUD, uninstall it, check to see if an updated one's working. Uh, if it isn't, you're either going to have to go with the default or look around for something different. Um, going over things, that's about all I can think of when it comes to, um, comes to really basic things. Um, I'm going to go into my next couple episodes and actually start reviewing some demos. Um, I've been getting a lot of them. I appreciate everyone sending those in. I'm going to get to them, I promise. Um, I, I'm going to try and set a once a week at the minimum of getting these videos out. Um, I really hate leaving you guys hanging, especially after I make a video promising a lot of things like this. Um, so I'm going to go for that. And so for a month, once a week, that that's my goal here. You guys need to hold me to it. If you see I'm slacking, go ahead. Send me angry messages. Um, dislike all my videos, unsubscribe from me, um, send me viruses, whatever you want to do through Steam, do what you got to do, because uh, I really do want to make these videos, and I feel like a lot of people would love to see these, and I really do feel like I can help people. Um, so that is something I want to do, and it's something I'm aiming to do. Um, I think that's about all I'm going to get into here. Um, not much else to go over. Um, I hope that helped anybody. Like That's super beginner, I get it. Um, and I know in the middle there, I got a little like philosophical. Uh, didn't really get into any s details. I will. I promise. This was just an intro video. Make sure you guys know what the path that I'm on here. From now on, it will be demo reviews, specific things. I will actually talk about movement, aiming, positioning, uh, comms. I, it's going to be a long series, I'm realizing. I said six or seven episodes in the initial. It's, it's going to be longer than that. Um, and I'm hoping it's really good. I'm hoping you guys enjoy it. Um, and I think that's yeah, that's definitely gonna be it for now. So what in the world? Yeah. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope it helps some people who are super beginner. Uh, you can see my antivirus. And um, I hope you guys are looking forward to more videos in the future. Uh, anyway, I will uh, I will be putting out that new video soon, and I will see you guys later.